walking around the suburb of Northcote and the smell of citrus is everywhere. We've given you plenty of tips over the years on how to grow citrus, but right now, buckle up for some fast-paced hacks on how to harvest. Mother Nature creates its own sunblock and turns them green. Wow. You can start picking the ones down in the southern states from about October, November, December. You'd have to plant one navel and one valentia, and you'd almost have oranges all year round. This is professional fruiterer and self-confessed fruit nerd, Tan Truong. A few local gardeners have been kind enough to let us snoop around in their backyards and suss out their citrus. Citrus really has its own set of rules. How important is timing in all of this? Well, timing is important with all fruits and especially citrus. It's important because although when you harvest the citrus, it might colour up, it doesn't mature or ripen after you harvest it. So picking it at the right time is going to give you the best eating experience. Now, every citrus variety has its own set of rules, which is why it's a little bit tricky, but it's why I love it so much. Wow, check out these orange and lemon yeah. trees. <laughs> they look wonderful. They do, don't they? So what are, what are some of the cues with oranges that you use? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to have a look at the orange. One that is more mature is going to be a bit more plump. It's going to have more juice in it. And that means the skin has thinned out and it becomes more smooth, whilst one that is immature is going to be more rough. Now, once you go for the one that's a little bit more smooth, you give it a touch. Now, in the industry, we call it a touch pick because one that's more mature gives because of that thin skin and juice. Now, this one here is giving quite a bit, whilst this one is a little bit harder, a bit more like a rock. It's got a bit to go. So this one here looks pretty good. I'm going to give it a pick. Let's eat this one later. Oh, definitely. Off we go to find a lime tree. There's one just down the road. Now this makes me happy, citrus in a front yard and we've got a lemon and a lime. We do, and this is not something you see very often. Do you see limes that are yellow in the fruit store? Generally, you'll see them at a, a darker green. That's right. Now the citrus industry picks them green so that they store longer. Transport better. Yep. Is there much of a flavour difference with the colour? So when they're green, they're a little bit more bitter but when they're yellow, they're a little bit more sweet and they generally have a little bit more juice in them. If you've got a lime tree in your backyard, you can wait for them to go yellow, pick them off, juice them and then freeze them to store them. Now I believe there's more citrus out the back. Bring Our citrus senses are tingling and telling us there's something sweet growing out the back. A mandarin tree. I notice some of these mandarins have a bit of a green tinge. Does that affect their taste and flavour? Now, mandarins don't need to be fully orange coloured to be ready. Now, the citrus industry actually put some natural ethylene to make the colour of a mandarin completely uniform orange colour. But it drives me nuts. Yeah, because I agree. Do you love the beauty of that little green blush? Exactly, and it's how nature presents it. That's right, that's right. And I hope everybody understands that, especially those who have a mandarin in their backyard. We don't need perfection. Perfection is around us. <laughs> exactly, exactly. See you later, girls. Our last stop is to visit a garden that I've heard has a tree absolutely laden with a slightly controversial citrus, kumquat. <laughs> have a look at this kumquat oh. right here. It oh, is the fully ripe. just came off. Now, you've got to have a try of the skin. Have a bit of that. Sweet. It is sweet. That's really sweet. And there's a nice perfume to it. There's a bit of a tang, but there's a perfume. Now, I love the skin of a kumquat because kumquat skins are rebels. Well, kumquats are rebels, right? <laughs> All other citrus... Are you a rebel too, Costa? <laughs> <laughs> All other citrus, you don't need the skin to be fully coloured. But with a kumquat, because the skin is so sweet, you want it to fully colour up before you harvest it and you eat it. Now, I like to eat kumquats whole. <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> Straight down the hatch. All right, I'll, I'll take your advice. No more bad wraps on sour kumquats. No, I agree. That was really good. If you're totally drowning in citrus, preserved or dried limes, lemons, oranges can come in handy. And of course, there's marmalade too. 
But the best thing is sharing your abundance with your friends and community. They'll thank you for it. Tan, thanks for a great day. It's been so fruitful. <laughs> My pleasure, Costa. I've had an awesome day. <laughs>